Hi everyone, it's Miss Mary from Skokie Public Library with another edition of Rise and Shine Storytime. And I'm so glad to be back with you and uh, be able to talk with you and read with you a little bit and find out what is in our magic box. Now, as you know, Miss Kathy and I always have this red magic box whenever we do our story times at the library. And when we've been doing story times online, we also have the magic box with us and there's something different in it every single time. So what do you think might be in it today? Any ideas? Shall we shake it, see if it makes any noise? Yep, sure does. It's not a soft teddy bear or anything like that. What do you think might be in here? Maybe Legos? That's a good guess. Or a toy truck? What do you think? Should we open it? Okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. Beautiful paints. Wow, have you ever used watercolors before? That's what these are and they are so cool. Look at all the beautiful colors. Here's black and red, orange, yellow. There's green and blue, purple and brown. And the wonderful thing about watercolors is you can make all kinds of colors from watercolors because you can mix them. So let's see, I have a pad of paper right here. And if we take a little bit of water, there's a little glass of water, and we dip our brush into the water like this, and then dip it into one of our paints, say maybe the red, to get it a little bit wet. Let's see what we get. Oh, look, there's our red. Wanna try it again? Let's try a different color this time. I'm gonna rinse my brush in the water and let's try maybe yellow. See if we get yellow. Yeah, there's our yellow. And let's try blue. See the blue here? This is gonna be really pretty, I think. Yeah, there's our blue. But the fun thing is you can mix and make more colors. So let's say, let's say I pick some red and I want to add some brown to it. Let's see what I get. Ooh, pretty color, huh? Kind of the color of an autumn leaf. Or let's say I pick some yellow but I add another color like um, green. Ooh, I get a bright, bright green, like the green that you see on leaves in springtime. So that's the fun thing about paints is you can mix them together and get all kinds of colors. In fact, if you mix them just right, you can even get a picture of you. So today we're going to read a book about painting a picture of us. And it's called The Colors of Us. It's by Karen Katz and it was copyrighted in 1999 by Henry Holt. Here it is.
the colors of us. Look at all the colors on these pages. My name is Lena, and I am seven. I am the color of cinnamon. Mom says she could eat me up. My mom's the color of French toast. There's mom. She's an artist. Mom's teaching me how to mix colors. Oh my goodness, look at all those paints she has. She says that if I mix the red, yellow, black, and white paints in the right combination, I will have the right brown for a picture of me. The right brown? But mom, brown is brown, I say. That's not so, mom says. There are lots of different shades of brown. Let's take a walk. You'll see. Wonder where they're gonna go. Oh, we go to the playground where I see my friend, Sonia. Sonia is a light yellow brown, mom says. Just like creamy peanut butter, I say. My favorite. Hi, Sonia. Oh, here's Isabella. Isabella is chocolate brown, like the cupcakes we had for her birthday. Here's Lucy. Lucy has skin that's peachy and tan. My best friend, Joe Jin, lives close to the playground. Joe Jin is the color of honey. Mmm, I'm getting a little hungry. Two streets over, we meet my cousin, Kyle. His skin is a reddish brown, like leaves in the fall. Carlos and Rosita have brought their new puppy to the park. Oh, aren't they lucky? Look at the little puppy. Carlos is a light cocoa brown, and Rosita's skin looks like butterscotch. And Rosita also likes to hang upside down, doesn't she? <laughs> when we pass by the pizza parlor, Mom and I see Mr. Pellegrino flipping a pizza high in the air. He is the color of pizza crust, a golden brown. And my babysitter, Candy, is a beautiful jewel bronze and amber. She looks like a princess. <laughs> Mom and I walk to the park to eat our lunch. Look at everyone's legs, Mom. All different shades. After lunch, we walk to mom's favorite store where Mr. Kashmir sells many different spices. He's the color of ginger and chili powder. And up the street is my Aunt Kathy's laundromat. Aunt Kathy is tawny tan like coconuts and coffee toffee. After our walk, my friends all come over. We take our towels to the roof and lie in the sun. I think about everyone I saw today. Sonia, Isabella, and Lucy, Joe Jin and Kyle, Carlos and Rosita, Mr. Pellegrino and Candy, Mr. Kashmir and Aunt Kathy. Each one of them a beautiful color. My friends leave and I go downstairs. I'm happy as I get out my paints, yellow, red, black, and white. I think about all the wonderful colors I will make and I say their names out loud. Cinnamon, chocolate, honey, coffee, 
toffee, and butterscotch. They sound so delicious. At last, my pictures are done, and I have painted everyone. Look, Mom, I say, the colors of us. It's true, we're all slightly different colors and it's so much fun. Well, I have a little poem about colors before we go. And you can do the actions with me. And it goes like this. Blue is the lake. Yellow is the sun. White are the stars when day is done. Red is the apple, green is the tree, and brown is the cookie for you and me. Yum! This whole book has made me hungry. <laughs> well, I will see you next time, and we will do some more stories. And until then, have a wonderful day.